plastic dumped into landfills and waterways is a hot button issue right now, and one local commissioner wants to ban single-use plastics in county parks, facilities, and venues. Yeah, Commissioner Lee Constantine says Seminole County needs to set the right example. News 6's Clay Lapard spoke to the commissioner, and he joins us now live. Clay. Ginger and Kirsten, the narrow view we've all shared for many years when it comes to single-use plastics like straws is widening. Now there's talk of banning these kinds of plastics at places like the county softball complex. Each and every year, thousands come to Seminole County's softball complex and take advantage of the concession stand. It was a convenience in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Now, you didn't think about it. Seminole County Commissioner Lee Constantine thinks it's time county-run facilities join what's becoming a movement across the state. A lot of cities have done this already. Very few counties have taken that step. By asking Seminole County staff to look into what it would take to ban single-use plastics at county-run facilities and use other alternatives instead. It's symbolic. It's, it's showing that it can be done. We're not telling other private businesses to do it. This comes just one month after Orlando became the first city in Florida to ban plastic bags, straws, and styrofoam at its city-run facilities like the Amway Center and Camping World Stadium. That policy takes effect in October. Disney announced last year they would phase out single-use straws and plastic stirs, adding their name to a list of companies including Starbucks, SeaWorld, and McDonald's. In May, Governor Ron DeSantis vetoed his first bill since in office, a bill that would have stopped cities and counties from banning plastic straws until 2024. The county commissioner says it's too soon to tell if his proposal would also impact vendors on county property as opposed to just county-run facilities. There still has not been a date set for when a vote could come up. In Seminole County, Clay Lepard getting results News 6.